If you Google the word Mechazilla, you'll likely be greeted by millions of results spit between a mechanical version of the fictional Godzilla and a massive arm attached to a South Texas launch tower. There's quite a difference between those two, although they're both mammoth constructions made of metal. Mechagodzilla is a mechanized Godzilla, and SpaceX's Mechazilla is a massive arm built to move rockets onto launch pads and eventually much more. At the helm of the latter is SpaceX, the current leader in spaceflight and the leading chance for humanity to make it back to the moon and eventually to Mars. And Mechazilla is a step towards fulfilling that eventual goal. For those of you not too familiar with Mechazilla, let's go back to Mecha Godzilla. It's a nearly 50-year-old, 50-meter-tall, well, Mecha Godzilla. It's also the naming inspiration for SpaceX's Mechazilla, which SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has named after the American version of the robot creature. Anyway, the reasoning behind the naming isn't too critical. In an April tweet, Musk blatantly said the Starship launch tower that catches the giant rocket booster is basically Mechazilla. And well, that's a pretty good comparison. After all, Mechazilla is an arm attached to SpaceX's launch tower. Fully assembled, it'll look a lot like that particular massive mechanical beast. Luckily though, with a stated goal to catch returning starships and super heavy boosters, it'll be what's likely to push SpaceX's Starship further to near full reusability. In another tweet, this time in December 2020, Musk mentioned SpaceX is going to try to catch the super heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using the grid fins to take the load. Through this, SpaceX will be able to save money on potential damage to Starship or a booster, any landing legs or fins, alongside virtually any other damage upon landing. Fortunately, Mechazilla should also make Starship landings even safer, provided the arm and the rocket just don't collide into each other. Still, there are two big benefits to Mechazilla, quick loading or unloading and stability on another planet. The first makes sense if you catch something, you'll immediately be able to do something else with it. For example, take any sport with a ball. If you catch the ball, you can immediately throw it, drop it, take it somewhere, it doesn't matter. However, if you're slow to react and the ball flies past you, you need some time to get it. Of course, Starship isn't going to just fly off past its landing pad, but still, there's the meaning behind this example. In that scenario, there's not much of a difference between options. After all, it's a few seconds extra. But for an entire space-bound rocket, that's a huge difference. You save time waiting for landing equipment to enable, legs or fins to engage, and time taken to carefully land. There's also the added benefit of no scuffing once touched down, no broken landing legs, less chance for accidental explosions, the list goes on. Mechazilla provides an easy way for the rocket to just be caught. No worries about any extra time taken or concerns that anything wrong would happen. Just a quick snatch of a rocket without any landing issues. Well, if the landing fins still touch down, then there's obviously still a chance, but significantly reduced. Nonetheless, landing isn't the only use for Mechazilla. With SpaceX's Starship, the colossal metal arm could be used to assemble total Starship vehicles, then just quickly pop together the two-stage, 120-meter Starship, and things are good to go. Of course, there would still need to be any engineering additions before things are good to go, but it would save hundreds of man-hours in the process. With Mechazilla, it would be as easy as picking up the Super Heavy first stage, then the Starship second stage, and all it would take is a near 150-meter-tall tower holding a massive arm used to catch rockets. Ironically, that's also something that would work on another planet. Take Mars, for example. Compared to our world, Mars is another beast entirely. 100-kilometer winds, dust storms, random cloud formations, volcanoes, craters, the list goes on. And that's where Mechazilla comes in. No matter the scenario, the massive tower will be able to help. In Mars's case, the rocky surface wouldn't prove nearly as much of a danger to a Starship mission. After adjusting for the thousands of minor factors affecting a landing, Starship can fall into Mechazilla's grasp and not even have to worry about the dangerous terrain below. Plus, it'll allow SpaceX to push multiple launches per day. According to some tweets, even as many as one per hour. That's incredible compared to the days it takes for many vehicles to get ready for launch. Bonus points for the ability to do so in rough terrain and harsh environments. Okay, that sounds great, but what exactly is Mechazilla and how can it catch a starship? Well, it's an arm. Renditions have it acting like a combination between tongs and a moving hand. Eventually, Mechazilla will have clamps to catch a starship attached to a platform that adjusts to actually capture the starship. 
Otherwise, the rocket could easily miss the arm by a few meters or it might not close correctly. With adjusting bases though, SpaceX can have Mechazilla automatically adjust itself to ensure that it's going to catch a starship at an angle and speed that is actually possible. According to Musk, it'll also let SpaceX pick up rockets and put them onto pads. As we've mentioned previously, there's a huge time save here. There are also the added cost benefits that will hopefully drag Starship's launch cost down even further. Plus, SpaceX won't have to build additional machinery on top of making the 150-meter Mechazilla arm to set up, launch, collect, and reuse rockets. Instead, all that's needed would be the construction of Mechazilla at every launch site. And with a speed of about one rocket swap per hour, it'll allow what could potentially be a consistent flow of arriving Starship and launching Starships. Of course, the concept might be literally just tongs attached to a tower. Still, it's exciting. Oh, and what's that? Will it help suborbital flights? On Earth and any other planet or moon? Well, probably. If SpaceX can speed up launches and landings through Mechazilla, protect starships from potential landing damage, and makes landings more accessible, then yeah. You could theoretically put a massive arm in every significant metropolis area and have starships launching from regional hubs every hour, including on Mars. Connecting back to that point, Mechazilla continues to shine as what could potentially be a massive benefit to a Mars expedition. I mean, more excellent safety on landing, the ability to collect starships and set up launching ones, speed up both trips to and from, orbital and suborbital. There's a lot that SpaceX needs that Mechazilla provides. But we'll have to wait. Or well, not really. SpaceX installed a Mechazilla claw onto their launch tower just a few weeks ago. Attached to the Starship launch tower's quick disconnect arm, this claw is that tong reference mentioned earlier. So even though Musk had specified that Mechazilla was still in the works a few months ago, it seems everything's speeding up. It wouldn't be surprising to see a Mechazilla claw test soon, especially considering that installation on the claw is already done. We'll just have to wait and see if SpaceX includes flaps or extensions for a Starship to attach to Mechazilla more securely. Luckily though, at this pace, that doesn't seem to be much longer. Plus, there's already a lot more accomplished. The launch tower's quick disconnect arm can already refuel and refill a Starship with Methalox, any potential consumables, and power. Who knows if Mechazilla is going to evolve even further than just a catching arm? eventually giving Starship a quick refill and relaunch with some logistics updates and power. Of course, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there. Mechazilla is already a bit of an enigma, even with the current progress, meaning that there's a lot that could or couldn't happen. Ironically, the opposite of before, we will just have to wait. Wait for a giant metal tower's arm and claw to be utilized to catch a massive space vehicle slowly falling from the sky. Yeah, space tech gets weirder by the day. Anyway, what do you think? Is Mechazilla a surprisingly underrepresented piece of SpaceX's space arsenal, or is it just an arm on a tower? Do you believe that SpaceX will be able to use Mechazilla to speed up launches, landings, refuels, construction, and more? Or will it act like its arm name suggests and quickly disconnect? Who knows? Let us know your thoughts below, and make sure to check back for more odd video topics nobody would have ever thought to have been made. Like seriously, a giant metal claw built on a removable arm on a 150-meter tall tower with the purpose to catch falling multi-million dollar reusable rockets out of the sky? It gets weirder but more entertaining every day.